Alright, what's good, y'all? Your boy just getting home from work. Um, I'm not going to stay on here long tonight. Uh, I do have to, have to go pick up my son real quick. Uh, he just texted me as soon as I got in the, in the house saying that uh, I need to come pick him up because his cousin is, I guess, mouthing off with his daddy or whatever and he can't stay tonight. So um, I got to go pick him up. But I did want to bring you guys my fragrance of the day. And um, it is one of the trades that I received maybe a week or so ago. And I actually like it. I actually like the bottle. Um, it's kind of classy. And the smell is very nice. Um, if you like vetiver. Not a lot of people are into vetiver. Uh, vetiver is in a lot of fragrances. You may not pick up on a lot of it most of the time. Because other ingredients uh, may overpower the vetiver. But this one is mostly vetiver based so it is from Carl Lagerfeld this is Bois de Vetiver and if I'm saying it wrong then sue me B-O-I-S-D-E V-E-T-I-V-E-R Bois de Vetiver or Bois de Vetiver however you say it I like this bottle uh, it's it does have a similarity to a, to a few other bottles that I have. But this is not bad. It's nice. I like it. It's cool. Um, despite whether I got a compliment or not off of this fragrance, I actually like this. Um, I do have a few fragrances that have vetiver in it, but none that are specifically about vetiver. And... Um, I did end up getting one compliment around lunchtime, which was actually a co uh, ex coworker of mine. She moved to another department at the hospital. Um, I was sitting next to the microwave. I had my phone plugged up, my earpiece in. She walked up, put her stuff in the mic, and she was like, "You smell good. Um, what do you have on?" And I told her what it was, and conversation went from there. So, uh, one compliment off of this fragrance, um, which to me is enough to solidify that this is nice i already knew it was nice i liked it regardless but it's nice i did get a compliment i didn't expect it because i went a whole day with this on and nobody said anything so um with that being said i'm not mad at this trade at all so if you guys are into vetiver um not saying that you have to specifically pick this one in particular but there are other fragrances that could be way better than this one. And um, just give it a shot. I mean, even if you don't like it, um, you can always give it as a gift to somebody. Or you can just return it either way it goes. But I really suggest if you don't know much about a fragrance to purchase a sample of it uh, if possible. I know some fragrances may be older and you may not be able to find, you know, little sample bottles of it. Uh, maybe somebody you know of that subscribed to a channel or something like that may be able to send you a sample. Um, if I had those little bottles, yeah, I wouldn't mind, you know, decanting some. Because there's no way I'll be able to go through this whole bottle unless I just say, this is the only fragrance I'm going to wear for a while. But... I mean, decanting some stuff I can do, uh, but I have to get some bottles. So please don't start asking for decants until I get some bottles if I choose to do that. Um, any trades that I have coming up or sales, uh, be looking for all of that to happen. If not tomorrow, starting tomorrow, it will be Friday when I get paid. I'm going to ship out. As much stuff as I can. I do have bills, guys. I do have bills. Just like you guys do. And my check only goes so far. So, the trades and sales that I do have, um, hopefully they all come through. I can get everybody's stuff shipped out with no hitches. And the guy that y'all, you guys and ladies know that um, we kind of clashed. We had... 
a little meeting of the minds. Um, he actually received his fragrance today, I think it was, he said. And he liked it. And it, I think it was uh, Pure Coffee by Mugler. And he likes it. Um, and he sees now that I wasn't lying to him. He said he apologized. I apologized to him. We should have been bigger men about the whole situation. Um, and like I said in my other video, I understand his perspective. He wasn't getting the pictures. I kept sending him the number and he was being stubborn and didn't want to listen to me. He just wanted the picture. He didn't want to go through having to type the numbers in which he would have had to do that anyway. But um, we both discussed it again today. Um, everything is cool as far as I know. Now, on my end, it's cool. I don't care anymore. I'm not going to bring this up in another subject or another video. This is the last time I'm going to talk about it. Um, on my end, I'm cool. So, it is what it is, guys. Um, just know that whoever, whatever the case, I'm not here to shit anybody. I'm not here to try to scam or scheme on anybody. That's not my thing. My face is plastered all over YouTube. My face is on uh, Facebook. People who have dealt with me already, they have my address. Anything. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I, I'm not fake. I'm right here. I mean, it is what it is. Um, one other thing I want to bring up. Um, I don't want to name drop. But let me grab one fragrance. So this is the fragrance I wore the other day, which is Nautica Voyage. And I posted the video and I said that this fragrance lasted me eight plus hours. And there is some skepticism out there. And I know there are some people who don't believe it. I can only tell you guys what I know for myself personally. I can't speak for every other person who watches these videos, watches my videos, or anybody else's videos. I can't vouch for them. I can only vouch for me. And you guys know me. If something does not last long or if it doesn't smell good to me, I always tell you guys that that shit sucks or something smells nice or it smells great or it smells amazing or whatever. This one is a classic fragrance and it may not be because of the fragrance itself or the performance or what it used to be, but the name itself makes this a classic fragrance and what it used to be. And that made no sense. Okay, let's try this again because I think I just, okay. This fragrance, as far as I know, from what people say, used to be the shit. I never have smelled this before until somebody made it known to me that I had Nautica N83 and not Nautica Voyage. And which N83 was not a bad fragrance. It smells similar to this, but this one is a lot more fruitier, uh, you know, a lot cleaner, fresher. Not by much, but it's a lot better to me. I like this better. So, I can't vouch for the metal top. This is plastic. I don't know nothing about no metal top. I don't know anything about how it used to be whenever it was made back in 1843 or whenever the fuck it was made. I don't know. I just know that what I have right here in my hand, as of when I bought this maybe a few weeks ago, from Ross or either TJ Maxx or whenever the hell, wherever the hell I got it from. This performed for me. 
I cannot vouch for anybody else. So whatever you had issues with, whoever has an issue with any fragrance, that's your personal problem. I know you trying to save the world and try to keep people from buying fake fragrances and buying, you know, watered down fragrances. I'm not saying that people aren't out there aren't doing stuff like that. There are some people, mischievous people out there who do water down fragrances and, you know, take juice out and add, you know, whatever to it or, you know, whatever the case may be. I get that. But on a personal note, me personally, I don't think I have any tampered with fragrances. This gave me eight plus hours on my skin and off of my shirt. So whatever somebody else may got may have gotten. And I understand in big cities, if you're in New York, Atlanta, Boston, you know, wherever the bigger cities are, there are better chances that you're going to pick up something fake because people are always doing something to try to get over on somebody. And I understand that. That's the way of the world. There's always somebody out there trying to scam Get over on somebody. Get something free for nothing. You know what I'm saying? They might take all the juice out of this except for a little bit and add the rest with water and sell it to somebody. People do shit like that. I don't think I have any of those. And just because I go on here and I might say, let's just say if this did suck. And I come on here and I say, okay, Nautica Voyage. Um, it smelled great for five minutes. And then after that, it sucked. And then somebody's going to jump in and say, well, it's probably been tampered with. It's probably been, it's not always the issue that it's been tampered with. It could have just been that companies cut cost on fragrances. They always looking for another way to make something cheaper and use the same name. So if Nautica Voyage don't perform like it used to, why can't it just be that the company uses different ingredients that they did other than they did back in the day and they're just not as strong as it used to be? It doesn't always have to be that something is tampered with or something is, you know, um, juices sucked out of it and added water to it. It's not always the case. So people need to just stop being a conspiracy theorist about everything, man. It's not always that serious. Sometimes, like I said before, companies just cut costs and use cheaper ingredients. And of course, cheaper ingredients or alternative ingredients, which they synthesize ingredients to smell like or to try to make it smell like what it used to and not always works. So... I don't know, man. I, I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, I know there are people who are skeptical. People are going to still be skeptical. And I'm pretty sure somebody's going to jump in the comment section and, and disagree with me on this. I know it's coming. I, I can feel it. I know it's coming. As soon as this video uploads, it's coming. I'm just saying. I'm not one of those guys who jumps on here and thinks that every single fragrance I purchase or I trade with somebody is going to be perfect. I know that's not the case. I know not everything is what it used to be back in the 80s and the 70s and the 60s and the 90s and everything is not going is not going to stay the same. Even some of those prominent houses like Coach, um Prada, uh Mugler, um who else? Chanel not everything is going to be perfect. I know we know this. And we also are not stupid. And we do know that people are out there who are very mischievous and will tamper with stuff to try to get over on people. Me personally, I don't have that kind of time. I work two jobs and I'm not going to sit here and be trying to mastermind how to suck juice out of this. And which I know how to decant, but I'm not going to try to suck juice out of this and then. And like that's too much shit to go through. Somebody who has that much time on their hands need to find a job or to find something else better to do. But I personally do not feel like I have any fragrances that are tampered with. And I could be wrong. I could be. I just don't know about it. 
But whatever the case may be, this one did get me eight plus hours. I know there's somebody out there who don't believe it. But this got me eight plus. And like I did say in the video, I sprayed like hell. I sprayed at least maybe 10 or more sprays of this to make it work. So if I have to do that, that's what I'm going to do. This only cost me between 15 and 20 bucks. I don't feel not a bit of guilt, not one ounce of guilt from having to spray so much of this. I don't care. Now, if I have something that I, that I spent $50, $60 for or $100 for, yeah, I'm going to feel guilty. If I got to spray more than three or four sprays of it, I shouldn't have it in the first place. If you spend that kind of money for a fragrance and you have to spray over two, three, or four sprays of it, you shouldn't have bought it. That's how I feel about it. If I spend $100, $150, $200, $300, $400 for something like Creed or Mancera or you know whatever the, the fragrances are that's out there that's high as hell and I got to spray like 20 or 10 sprays or 15 sprays of it, you shouldn't have bought that. You shouldn't have bought it. That thing should be potent as hell and you should only be able to spray two, maybe three sprays of that and get by a whole day. If you got to spray more than that, it's not even worth it. That's why I don't even waste my time even trying to buy any of those higher price fragrances. Yeah, they may smell great in the first hour or so, but after that, what are you getting? It's just, to me, it's just not worth it. Um, and I know a lot of people in reverse may say the same thing about cheapies like this. They might say, oh, well, instead of going out and buying, taking $100 and buying five $20 fragrances, why not just buy one good one and be done with it? Well, they have a point too. But me personally, I can't see myself spending that kind of money on some shit that I know may not last or perform and I gotta keep spraying. I gotta keep reapplying. Like that's, no. 20 bucks, 15 bucks, and I can reapply as much as I need to, in which I did not have to reapply with this one. Because like I said before, I, me, Mr. Cheap Sense, Keith Crook, got eight plus out of this. Believe it or not. So whatever your opinion is, that's on you. I have no quarrels with it. I'm just stating the facts on my end. That for me, I know what kind of performance I get out of my fragrances because I do pay attention to them. I might not always tell you guys every little detail of fragrances that I have or that I pick up. But trust me, I get decent performance out of the majority of my fragrances. Now the ones I don't, I always let you guys know. And you know that. You guys know I keep it 100 with you guys. So with that being said, I got to get out of here, man. I got to go pick up my son. Peace.